that geography for gs and geography for optional they are like very uh, like exactly same or like they are exactly two ends apart hello everyone welcome to our talk show that is designed to unravel the upsc world through the lens of geography my name is aditi sharma i'm a career psychologist at plutus is and your host for today to decode upsc strategies and share essential topics and share expert tips we are here with akshay guru bhaiye sir who is the faculty of geography at plutus is hello sir welcome to the show hello aditi with four attempts at upsc mains and appearance at ifos interview and a commendable 6 years of extensive teaching experience sir bring a wealth of dedication and resilience to the table in this talk show we are going to explore dynamic concepts that goes beyond the borders and textbooks offering a holistic exploration of geography for the upsc students so without a further ado let's dive into it So my first question to you is what is the basic difference between geography in paper 1 and geography as an optional subject See uh, geography this is the most common question hmm. that student ask me in general Yes and there is a, as well a kind of misconception about mm-hmm. like in the student like in their mind that geography for GS and geography for optional they are like very uh, like exactly same or like they are exactly two ends apart okay but i mm. feel this is not exactly a case yes it just because see uh, even uh, like if you go through the syllabus of geography mm-hmm. uh, gs you mm-hmm. will find syllabus is having all horizontal stretch or extremes uh, of geographical topics okay you will find those are already mentioned in the geography optional syllabus as well but what for the case of geography optional the difference is only that say the depth of knowledge mm-hmm. and the depth of your understanding that you guys are supposed to you know write may uh, write in examination is what further in depth because for geography for gs is like uh, as we know in terms of marks it is for 100 marks like yes, almost sir. 100 marks mm-hmm. and if you consider it for geography optional then it is for 500 marks okay, so yes. just like having said that having the same syllabus obviously for 100 marks you will find a limited depth of questions mm-hmm. while for the case of geography optional you have to study that uh, concept in further detail so this is what i feel the most uh, mm-hmm. difference between them okay both. sir so regarding this only my second question to you is is it necessary to have geography background to opt it as a geography optional subject and what are the recommended standard books or studying ncert is going to be more than enough for the students uh yes the first question of yes. yours like uh, is it really necessary to have geographical yes, exactly. background i would say absolutely not the reason being like uh, just go through uh, different toppers list those who have opted for geography as a optional mm-hmm. and if you check their background you will find that the, there is absolutely like there is no they don't have the background same as geography many of them they might be like say from engineering background maybe like they are having commerce as a background as well yes exactly and the so. reason being for like this subject as not it does not require the specific background the reason being it is so logical subject as well and i i i, I personally be, feel that if subject is logical it really does not require very conceptual uh, like as such the very depth of that particular understanding or the background as so uh, yes no need for and even if you consider for me as well so i have engineering as a background and i opted opted for geography as a optional okay so, so uh, again like coming to your second question mm-hmm. that uh, the standard reference books yeah uh as like if you go through the toppers uh, scripts as well mm-hmm. okay or their suggestions and based on my experience as well the ncrts are the very foundational books for our understanding yeah, definitely yes so the thing is ki you have to go through ncrts deep enough i would rather say like follow ncrt number of times then there comes like after having a basic clarity over the ncrts concept for geography then you can look for like uh, the uh, certificate in physical geography by gc leong then uh, rupa made publication you will find two different titles of the book and there comes like the uh, what i would say like the bible of this physical geography that is written by physical geography by savindra singh sir 
Okay. So sir. that is what for physical geography. For human geography, you need to follow a few specific title by Majid Hussain sir. He is again like expert in our field. So uh, evolution of geographical thoughts and uh, model theories and laws in human geography. Those are his two titles. And the last for Indian geography, uh, Indian geography by Kullar sir. So these are the very standard reference books, and mm -hmm. you have to keep in touch. In addition with say current affairs and related mm -hmm. stuff. Sir. Okay, so so my third question to you is the as we know the ge geography slavers covers world and Indian geography as well, and mapping is one of the most important thing in geography. So what would be your strategies that how can students come in preparation of regular practice of mapping and in interpretation in geography? Yeah, this is uh, I would say rather the really important question. Mm -hmm. It is because see uh, like uh, like even. Whenever we heard like geography as a uh, subject or term, that the first thing that comes in our mind, it must be like globe that is revolving, yes, right? uh, yes. or like the map of India or the way. Mm -hmm. So don't you think like the geography is what the subject that is you know that is made up of map uh, as mm -hmm. in true spirit, right? It, because it is more of a spatial science. So geography is very difficult to explain in the absence of having a map or diagram. Oh. So there is like no, uh, you know, you cannot explain any geographical concept even in our class as well. I cannot explain any concept without having any diagram or map like drawn mm -hmm. on the board. So map is a really important aspect of geographical study. Now, as you ask, sir, how to keep in uh, what connect with the geographical mapping? Yes. So see, there are like two ways. Like first, first you have to deal with mapping with the basics. Basics in a sense, you can deal with the maps like by means of atlas. Mm -hmm. You know, because atlas, like I believe, atlas is very comprehensive document mm -hmm. that is having like all informations about the like the world, physical and political and geographical aspects. And those are mentioned there. Mm -hmm. So, like one should have a proper uh, what a daily practice, in fact, to go through atlas on daily basis just to mm -hmm. have a proper basic clarity over on the map. Yeah, that is uh, like I wanted to ask you how students can come in like daily practice of it. What are your tips to share? Uh, so see, guys, what uh, like uh, what I would like to add over here. The thing is that just before going to bed, hmm. do have this practice. What hmm. before going to bed, be, like five to ten minutes before, hmm. just open your atlas, go through like uh, fix one page that. Only map one map page that you are supposed to refer, and then write whatever observation you have noted from that, like based on observe. Because mm -hmm. I feel map and geography is more is a subject more than like uh, uh, what uh, memorization. It is of more of like observation. So the okay. more you observe, the more mm -hmm. in depth understanding you will be having with the geography. So like for daily basis, go through atlas, read. Point out what are your observation on that particular single page only, right? Just like say, for example, if river passes through to uh, defining a boundary between state, so right over in the map itself, that uh, page that yes, this river defines the boundary between these two states. Okay. Right. So, yeah. And what you can further in addition, what like just to keep in current 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 connect as well. Mm -hmm. Like say, if you are going through a new newspaper as well. Mm -hmm. So and if you are located, there is a goal and height because Israel Palestine wall is there, right? Yes, yes. So what there must be a mention of. Uh, goal and height, or Dead Sea, or any other location geographical. Mm -hmm. So just go through, uh, like again, Atlas. Do point that particular location there, and again, you know, like you need to revise those stuff. So I feel that help you to come in better connect with the geographical mapping. Then okay, so thank you for sharing this great tip with us. So my fourth question to you is, uh, how to stay updated on the concepts and developments in the geography optional paper. If you like ask me first, like how to stay updated. So mm. the best, like the best source for this updation is yeah. what the newspaper itself. Okay. I feel personally like the newspaper after having a basic clarity over mm -hmm. the concept is the more than enough source to prepare for the UPSC. Mm -hmm. In a sense, like because newspaper is like you know, like it is having hundreds of news like in one single like the, yes. the, the compilation of the paper. Yeah. And if you are having that attitude or say approach how to uh, segregate or read any particular news say from geographical perspective. For example, like uh, if there is uh, like uh, Russia-Ukraine war is there. 
right mm. so now you have to connected how this russia ukraine war is important from geographical point of view okay that what geographical necessity is prompted uh, mr putin to attack or say to lead a conflict with the ukraine yeah so if you like or uh, like the recently the government of india has uh, like banned on the uh, like use of uh, sugarcane syrup mm. for the purpose of ethanol production mm. now you have to look in what are the then the geographical reasons or what are the di- different geographical concepts right those are getting involved in and leading to this particular you know like force government to uh, have this particular decision okay. so newspaper is the best source along with the newspaper uh, you will find yojana and kurukshetra magazines yes. are equally important and uh, again like if your time allows you further you can go through geography and you uh, that is what the uh, geography specific magazine as well but if only time allows you mm-hmm. yes uh, okay sir so my fifth question to you you is so what are the key topics that the students can focus on the geography syllabus uh the thing is uh, you know like for geography or yeah. for any particular subject in upsc mm-hmm. you will find all topics are very important right because uh, uh, like for the case of example like uh, you you should know every syllabus every sub points of it mm-hmm. and should have one or two page of information on every topic of syllabus so same is the case goes for geography as well now like uh, like even if you ask further like key points of geography so uh, see uh, i personally feel human geography aspect right that is very important from geography optional perspective because like if you go through a uh, topper script or their videos right and their own understanding and like based on my experience further that human geography is a real topic that actually helps you to connect better with the subject and simultaneously you know like uh, score well in the examination so human geography but uh, particularly like perspectives in human geography like you will find the 20 units in our syllabus okay and the sixth unit is what perspective in uh, human geography model theories and laws in human geography and indian geography aspect is rather i feel uh, comparatively more important mm-hmm. comparatively more important though again like uh, all points okay or all units are uh, equally important for our syllabus okay sir so so i just wanted to ask you also this personally ki are there any successful strategies for the geography optional because this is a very most like talk subject among the students yeah it, yes as you rightly mentioned that this yeah. is geography is a subject that is the most uh, you know opted for actually yes, in exactly. the optional so yeah, like uh, uh, generally be as hota hai ki like if you throw like stone in orn okay <laughs> yeah. or rajinder nagar or delhi you will find yes. ki at least ek stone to lagega ki har every third individual must be geography optional yes, student sir, yes. and that is what uh, uh, reality as well yeah, it is well. one of the most like A popular yes, choice of most students. popular choice, and mm. the reason we have already discussed, yeah, like being exactly. a logical and uh, interesting subject as well. So, uh, like, see strategies for uh, like to have a good score in geography as mm-hmm. a subject. I feel the first thing that see there is no like the best strategy is toward you should have always like conceptual clarity over the topics. The first thing that instead of like you know like. covering the uh, uh, only topics and sub topics what i think the best thing is rather strategy is rather mm-hmm. to have a better clarity and that in enough depth as well so that that will be reflected in your answer and you will be getting good enough mark the apart from the second strategy is what generally like students are having uh, like this uh, you know like uh, like just because they are preparing for upsc so mm-hmm. they they feel that that they should you know follow those bulky books yeah exactly yeah, so agar koi book agar if you find ke if it is what mm-hmm. having a thousands of pages so mm-hmm. then only then they, it feel like they are doing upsc like but believe me upsc is really even though we feel it like one of the toughest examination mm-hmm. but it is absolute it does not demand from you by any means right that you should go through those bulky books okay upsc demand like simply what i feel that uh, uh, that the strategy should be right for you guys as well that read less revise more and score more mm-hmm. in a sense try to limit your sources as like those only basics and important sources mm-hmm. you guys are supposed to go through revise them as many times as possible i would say rather if 1000 times no issues with mm-hmm. okay and then uh, like try to the next strategy then that just don't be in that illusion 
that if you have gone through that particular book or that concept that is uh, uh, fair enough for you absolutely mm. not because this examination is not mainly mainly about what is in your mind mm. it's about how you are going to represent your understanding yes. and yourself in the examination so there comes the importance of answer writing that if if you have understood a concept mm -hmm. now don't let that concept to evade like okay in uh, like uh, without having a practice mm -hmm. if you have understood any concept go through pyqs okay and mm -hmm. then try attempting those pyqs based on what the strategy that further you will feel right so answer writing is again important and the last strategy that uh, like help you again to enhance your score further is what always do remember geography as we have already discussed geography cannot be explained without mm. having a map or diagram into it so always like so for one particular question there must be at least one or two diagram micro diagram if it is really possible you shall add those into your uh, answer it okay so my next question to you is are there any specific trends or changes in the upsc examination like for the pre previous year if we look into the papers are there any specific trends or changes uh Yes, see, the thing is, ki, I, pers I, I believe UPSC is equal to dynamism. Yeah. yeah? Hmm. So, because the, uh, uh, like, previous year's 2022 paper might, it is not as relevant as for us. Like, mm -hmm. say, if there is a 23 paper in our domain. Yeah. Right? So, UPSC is a highly dynamic examination. And it, uh, the simple fact is what? Ki, because the administrator, those who are going to serve in the field, they, uh, you know, they have to feel some dynamic challenges as mm -hmm. well. So, they want officers need to be dynamic. So, papers as well, you will find, say, if you, uh, like, uh, follow the trends from 2013 till now 2023, now uh, we are having at least 10 years of uh, papers in our, like, uh, with us. So, you will find UPSC has never kept that, uh, like, uh, what, the common trend as well, okay, right? Though yeah. uh, some trend or some questions are a bit repeated in examination, mm -hmm. yeah, so you need to practice them. And mm -hmm. there are, like, some questions based on some gray areas as well. So right. they are, there are some patterns and they are not. There are not. Huh, yeah, absolutely. It is, a, it is a duo or it is kind of a combination yeah, of yeah. This, the changing or shifting pattern mm -hmm. and simultaneously some repetitive pattern as okay. well. Because see from every, uh, like if you go through PYQs, right, mm -hmm. say for geography optional, you will find many questions are as such repetitive in nature as well. So yes, for that 40-50% half, you need to practice a lot for that right because they are for sure going to again repeat in examination mm -hmm. as well however for the rest 50 60 percent what mm -hmm. say now there are some divisions for that like gray areas question will be there mm -hmm. or some questions like say you will find say from like further in conceptual and depth in depth understanding so there you need to like the changing strategies yeah you need to adapt accordingly with the current dynamism of the examination okay sir so sir my last question for you today is what are the common pitfalls that the students can avoid while in the preparation of this subject um i've personally like based on my experience right mm -hmm. and i usually recommend uh, to our students in the class as well that you see generally avoid Two uh, common mistakes that every uh, like uh, UPSC aspirant is supposed to commit, or it's it's what committing in fact, mm -hmm. right? If if he's somehow misguided missile like, so the very first thing is don't try to follow many resources because this market, right? This UPSC market now and with the onset of this uh, internet and that particular case, you will find it is flooded with the information. Yeah, they are like flooded. very confused right now. The yes. So there are a lot of many resources you will hmm. find in the available in the market. Hmm. And if you are going to refer each and every resource, hmm. you will find yourself rather in confusion. Yeah. So always do remember that there are some basic standard reference books hmm. and you are only supposed to follow them. If you are having good relation with those basic standard books, like mm. those we have mentioned already, right? Believe me, right? You will able to score good enough in examination. Mm -hmm. The second thing is what? Like uh, they are what, having a kind of a phobia for answer writing. See, in our discussion, you'll find some points are repeated. The reason being because these are the very common mistakes that uh, mm. like we guys are uh, committing itself. So it's all in the sense, don't have the uh, avoid answer writing. Because answer writing, I feel, is what the soul of UPSC examination. Because if you fail to answer right, right, write that answer again in that particular structured manner and uh, fulfilling the demand of the question, you won't be able to get enough score. And the further one, one like uh, in addition, that always keep yourself in a better touch with 
प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड सिलेबस that like in our class as well mm-hmm. right that i uh, like uh, i have this practice for every batch and for every student that they should remember the broad 20 units of our syllabus mm-hmm. so if they have this uh, you know like 20 units of their syllabus in their mind you will find say it is very diff- uh, easy for them to uh, understand the stretch of the syllabus and the subject as well so they don't find themselves you know like uh, like having like misguided as well and okay, again yeah. uh, you know have a better uh what connect with the subject okay sir thank you so much sir for joining us today and providing us such a great tips and enlightening us with your knowledge and thank you students for watching this talk show i hope we have cleared all your doubts regarding your geography optional but if you have further doubts kindly comment them down and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel thank you so much mm-hmm.